Well, I can always understand why people will have that kind of a reaction in a situation. Um, I think you need to look at what my role and my uh, contributions are in their entirety here. Um, and uh, step back, take a breath, and ask that question again in a couple of days. Um, I have to say that if I don't have the confidence of this university to move forward, I can't do what I've been asked to do. We are trying to move this university through two decades of change in two or three years. This university has been relatively fallow for a long time. Uh, as we're doing our strategic planning, and we have questioned through surveys and individually upwards of 10,000 people in our family, from our trustees, to our staff, to our students, to our faculty, to our alumni. One of the questions we have asked is, how much change do we need on a scale of one to five? And I have to tell you that the answer is almost unanimously, we need five. That's Richter scale change. And the other answer I'm getting back is that we're ready. We're ready for change. But understand, this is a lot of change. It's going to make people uncomfortable. As we bring in UMDNJ to our fold, just in purely financial terms, we're adding about $1.7 billion of operation to an entity that's $2.2 billion, roughly. That is a huge amount of stress to the management team, which is not used to dealing with that sort of thing. So the stress levels here are very high. Uh, and uh, while I'm mindful of that, and I try my best to keep that in mind, uh, we have a path to walk, and I can't walk it without the support of all the people here, the faculty, the staff, the students, uh, and the alumni. Yeah. Yeah, first let me say that I, I'm not asking anybody to weigh my accomplishments. I've only been here six months. And you can see what I have done, but one could hardly say that they're accomplishments. Um, they're barely time to get things down on paper at this point. Uh, once we've made it through July with a successful integration, which will be the largest integration in the history of higher ed, uh, once we have a strategic plan that's acceptable to the board, once we have a facilities master plan uh, that again comes from the faculty and the, and the staff and the students here that's acceptable to the board, then I can say I have some accomplishments. Right now I can't say that. In, in, let me address your question. In Tim's case, uh, I think one of the, the uh, aspects that makes this so difficult to me is the fact that Tim is, in the vernacular, a stand-up Rutgers guy and has done an awful lot for this university. I've been there with him for the last part of this. Uh, I've walked some of that walk with him with the Big Ten. But unfortunately, as for any of us at the pinnacle of our pr particular leadership enterprises, um, it's not so much what you've done in the past as that one major decision that you've done right now that influences whether you can or can't lead. It doesn't make you a good person or a bad person. It just determines whether you can be an effective leader right now. Yes, ma'am.